Okay, so this is the sizing die that you'll use in either your bench press or a lead loader like this. Very handy. Under $60, $70, I recommend you buy one. You put your Pitman bullet like so. Run it through. Usually um, a two a two pass is good. To get it tighter, you would uh, simply turn this um, clockwise, counterclockwise to get a loose fit on the bullet. Once it's sized for the bore, you take your uh, powder funnel, put it right inside the brake. If you don't have these, I recommend you get these. These are the powder vials. They're on my list of things to buy. Dump your powder. Give it a couple shakes here on the funnel. Make sure all the powder's down. Leave your funnel in. Drop your projectile. make sure this is the loading jag and the loading jag is specifically tapered for these long wicked pointed bullets you can see it fits right in there without damaging the tip so make sure that this is always on some people uh, accidentally have left this in the bore it can come off with use we recommend lock tighting it place this on the bullet Notice how easy I can do it with two fingers. I call it the two finger push and seat that bullet right against the powder. No sabo, no wadding, no the bullet is seated right on top of the powder. So one more thing I'm going to show you is how you load the modules. And notice the bolt goes all the way back. You want to push it to where you can see the bolt head. And I use my left thumb. And I hold the bolt, take the module, 40 degree angle, push in. And some modules will fit hard and tight, that's okay. You want a nice tight seal. There is a sizing die that I'm going to recommend after this build to pre-size the modules. But a nice tight fit of the module is safe and it's common and you do want a lot of down pressure to have a hundred percent seal because it's not like a repeating arm you're not going to be cycling it back and forth. one shot one kill that's what these were intended for so now i'm going to have laura shoot it next video go ahead and pause the video and 